Now, happening today, a cry to legalize marijuana in Missouri. Lisa Benson is live at the Show Me Cannabis Conference downtown. Lisa? That's right, Cynthia. The conference is underway, and people are hearing a lot of information about the legalization of marijuana. In fact, two states have already legalized it, Colorado and Washington State. I'm joined now live with Allison Holcomb. She's an advocate for 502 Initiative in Washington State. Talk to me about how that's gone for your state and how you all believe this could actually save lives. Well, in Washington, before Initiative 502 passed, we'd actually had a number of murders happening in in indoor marijuana grow operations where people would come in and try to rip off the grow and unfortunately the people in those gardens would wind up getting hit or shot and dying and so our hope is that as we move forward and create a system of licensed production distribution through legal outlets we'll be taking marijuana out of the black market and bringing it under control and that also means money for the state absolutely where there's a hefty marijuana excise tax that we're putting on marijuana that it sort of operates like alcohol and cigarette taxes and so we'll be generating a lot of new new revenue for the state and we're dedicating much of that revenue to prevention, education, treatment and evaluation of the impacts of the law on our communities. And so what has been the biggest change you guys have noticed in Washington State since you guys changed your drug laws? Well, at this point, it's really been about freeing up law enforcement resources that have been dedicated to minor marijuana possession cases and freeing up those police officers to focus on things like um, assaults and violent crimes in communities. We haven't yet opened the stores. The stores won't open until early next year, and I think then we'll see an even bigger shift. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Allison, for your time. And again, the conference is underway right now, and it lasts until 6 o'clock today. So we are expecting a lot of interesting conversation. We'll have more on it tonight at 5 and 6. Reporting live, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.